hello and happy December. Yeah, happy December 1st. Wow, I look very oily. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name's Eliza. If you're new here, I do a lot of knitting videos and yarn, or I do a lot of knitting related videos, basically. But we are on a sock kick on this channel, so happy december and for the month of december i have a very special treat for you and me i will be uploading every single day until christmas until december 25th because i have a yarn advent calendar and i got the one from hedgehog fibers because i really like hedgehog fibers i was hyped when i saw that they had a sock minis advent calendar so i splurged there are 24 boxes in this and we're gonna open them one day at a time <laughs> and i'm also going to try to make something with them in each of these videos or you know work a project over a few days so if you have any ideas for what i should do with this let me know in the comments i think each one of the minis in this is about 87 yards for 80 meters let me know your ideas because I don't have that many right now. What I'm thinking for today is, let me take this off. Let me just show you. So, oh, I opened it the wrong way. Okay, this is the advent calendar and we're gonna start with, is it upside down? Oh no, no. I was like, what, 50? Right, so we're gonna start with the first day today. Duh. <laughs> Cause, oh, wouldn't that be fun if we went out of order? No, no, no. We're gonna start with day one. What I'm thinking for today is, I think I'm just gonna start with a sock, um, which means we have to eventually do two socks, but I think we can do like the first few days, just like a few socks, and then maybe we can do something fun with the rest that's unrelated to socks. So give me some ideas in the comments, or else I'm just gonna knit a bunch of socks. So what I'm thinking is I have my double points right here, and my one and a half, which are my favorite, my US one and a half, my favorite sock needle size, cause they're like kind of small, but they're big enough that I can like knit it a little bit faster than like a one or a zero. Anyway, so what I'm thinking today is I'm gonna open box number one. We're gonna look at it. <laughs> We're gonna wind it into a ball. And then I think I'm gonna start a toe up sock. And I have some other minis that are solid colors and what I think I'm gonna do today is I'm going to knit the toe up sock and then slowly start to like transition into the solid color. And then tomorrow when we open box number two, we can continue knitting and like maybe, you know, work some more of the sock. Maybe I should do a cuff down sock. Then we could do a fun heel. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't need to decide until after I wind it. But basically we're making a sock in this video. So let's see what's in box number one. <laughs> The only like, the thing about this that's gonna take a little bit longer is that they're all like mini hanks, so I do have to wind them into balls, but whatever, it'll, it'll prolong the experience. So here we have box number one. And these are all like multicolor yarns. There aren't any solids in here. They're all like the Hedgehog Fibers Potluck, which I don't know, is that, they're like, I don't know, multicolor yarns. So here it is, box number one. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Here we go. First one. Happy December 1st. We have... Let me take this off. So this is merino wool and nylon. And yeah, the color just says potluck. 80 meters, which I think is about 87 yards. Here it is again. It has like tones of lilac and pink. It has some yellow, green, some like dark brown speckles. It's very pretty. It's like kind of like sherbet. <laughs> sherbet, but then it has like the dark splotches. So I'm curious to see how this knits up. I don't know, should I do the cuff first or should I do the toe first? Maybe I'll do the cuff. Let's start with the cuff with this one. Maybe the next one we'll start with the toe. So I'm gonna wind this and then we can start knitting. I'm just gonna put this back. Day one down. One last look in hang form, so pretty. I will be right back when it is in ball form. 
there it is, in a ball. It's a, uh, you know, it's not very much yarn, so it's kind of a loose ball, but that's okay, because we're gonna knit it right away. As you can see, I think like the most prominent colors are kind of like yellow orange and then that lilac but really I think it's kind of like yellow orange so I pulled out all the minis the other minis that I had so I have all of these <laughs> I have these ones these like really bright colors I have I'll show you next to them um, maybe the orange I think that could be pretty I so I have <laughs> So I have these ones, and then I have these ones. I'm showing you like in the clumps that I bought together. So I have these ones. I have this pink that I actually bought today. This actually could look pretty. And then I have this pink that's already wound. But I kind of like this one more. And then I have gray, no. And I have neon, ooh, the neon could be cool. And I have this one, which is maybe, no, no, no. I kind of like this. I kind of also like the orange. <laughs> and I kind of also like the pink. I wish I could have you like vote, but we gotta like do this today so we can do the next one tomorrow. I don't know, I kind of like the orange, but it's like, it's gonna be like very autumnal. Maybe I should do pink, cause it's like the most contrast. Maybe I should do this one because it's already wound. <laughs> This would look pretty, but I kind of got this for another yarn. Like, I part of me doesn't want to use it. Green? Hmm. 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 I kind of am feeling lazy. I kind of just want to do the pink one that's already wound into a ball. Oh my gosh, I'm just like wasting time trying to choose. Oh, I actually have lilac, but it's like a full ball. Oh, I have this like tiny little ball actually. This is like, this is ritual dyes and it's left over from a pair of like just random socks that I made. And it was at one point a mini hank. And these will look really good together. Okay, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> cuff down. So I'm gonna knit a cuff. And then I'll check in with you after I've knit the cuff. <laughs> which hopefully I can do fairly quickly. Um, so I don't have to like go into the morning to finish this. But yeah, I'm gonna knit this into a cuff. And then we're gonna figure out how we're gonna work this in. I feel like maybe just squares, like two stitches, like two two purple stitches, two multicolor stitches, and then maybe we'll make like bigger squares, smaller squares, something like that to make like a gradient that this can then lead into another color. But I don't know. So let me get a cuff and I will be back soon. <laughs> it's been a, a minute. I knit a little cuff. I'm kind of just like going, I'm just like knitting. I'm not following a pattern. I'm just making this up as I go along. So what I did was I cast on and I did a little, um, like a little, a couple rows of jersey to make a little roll and then I did a funky little rib and then I did a, what are they called, <laughs> vickle braid. It's like a, it's like a horizontal knit stitch that goes around. Um, and now I'm going to do a couple rows of knit stitch and then I'm going to start a new color and I thought maybe I should use a full ball instead of using more mini hanks because then I can make it like more cohesive with the next sock since it's going to be like a couple minis that are all going to be different. So I'm going to use this purple sock yarn as my base for the two socks. And what I'm thinking, and I am going to like freehand this, but I'll write it down just in case it ends up coming out cool. What I'm thinking is doing like a couple rows of knit stitch in my potluck yarn and then I'm going to add like one stitch of the purple every couple stitches and just do more and more and more until this runs out and I'm just doing purple and then I'll stop and tomorrow we'll open up the next mini hank and ideally finish the sock but I'm gonna start doing that and I'll check in with you in a bit let me know what you think so far. Let me know if you think it's a fun idea or a stupid idea. <laughs> I might end up just like, should I just like design a bunch of socks with like mini hanks? That could be fun. Good like design challenge. Release some sock patterns. I really want to do that. I'll see you in a bit. I'm back. And this is what I did with my sock. I'm just going to recap what I did with this sock. So I took my potluck yarn from day from 
the first day of my advent calendar and I mixed it with this purple yarn, which I think the brand of this is like Pink Piggy or something like that. It's kind of old. It's a yarn that I got from someone's stash. I actually haven't looked to see if they still make this yarn, but I know they don't sell it at the store that this was from. The brand is Oink Pigments and it's sock yarn, a hundred or it's 90% superwash, 10% nylon. And the color is called Lavish Lavender. Mixing these two yarns together turned out to be a pretty good blend. Like, there is a surprising amount of lilac in this colorway. So I wrote down everything I did to make this sock and I'm going to show you what I did. So I did a little knit, a couple rows of knit stitch at the top so they would roll and then I did a rib and then I did a, what do they call the Vickle braid right here and then I just went into some color work. So I did like some solid, some stripes, some like checkerboard rows i wrote all this down if like this is interesting to anyone if anyone wants this pattern and then i, I did my heel and then i went into stripes and i did a couple rows of uh like every other stitch at the bottom with the potluck color and now i'm just gonna knit purple until the end of the sock that's what i did with my first mini hank from the advent calendar so i'm gonna continue to knit this purple until the end because i want to save this so i can make a matching sock so I'll have a full pair of ugly socks they really look wild on the camera and then I think I'm gonna do a purple toe but I have this orange color that I think would also look good I think it was this color so should I do this color for the toe and make them just like wild socks maybe I'm going to finish knitting the sock and I will show it to you tomorrow on day two when it's done and then I'll knit the second sock at some point. I will see you tomorrow for day two of my Hedgehog Fibers advent calendar. Bye!